guys, we, we actually pushed our meeting back because we're having so much fun with, with Molly here. And, and we're just having coffee now. And we're having a pretty cool conversation. And uh, I just found out that not only is Molly, she's not just beautiful and charming. She's actually educated. She speaks French, German, Russian, and English. Uh, and 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 she's also a linguist. So we're going to chat a little bit more. And, and, and I just asked her this, and, and the conversation was going so well. Now, I asked her what her, if she had her dream, if her dream came true and what her job is going to be. It's going to be, she didn't tell me yet, it will be... It would be for sure something with people, with communication with people. I want to be uh, useful, helpful, and always around, surrounded by people, like in society. Kind of social job, but... Um, like in, in, in marketing or in media or... Yes, mostly in, like that. In, in media, media, yes. Or, when I was a child, my dream was to be, um, how to say, TV presenter or something. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. But after that, I decided, oh no, maybe I would, would, I should be a journalist, like uh, on the TV. And I tried to make some experience in my hometown, like uh, by a thorough prognosis or how to say that. How do you say? Like you know when when people talk about weather on TV. I did this. Okay. <laughs> I did this before. I, I can I can totally see that. She was kind of like the beautiful weather girl. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And now I realize that languages is the key to the world. Like this with different kind of languages you can meet different people. And like this you can uh, discover more. So yeah. If you if your dream came true and you're gonna live somewhere, where are you gonna live? You know, actually my dream was, before, my dream was to live on the island and the tropical mm, weather. Dream, dream came true, Dreams number came one. True. Yes, my yeah. first dream is, is already here. Yeah. But I realized that after you, no, first I moved to the big city from the little town. So And your little town is? It's Pervorajsk. Is that north south? It's Ural. In the Urals. It's, yes, you know Siberia. There is Ural. This is middle part of Russia, with the mountains and snow and you're everything. A, you're a mountain girl. Yeah. <laughs> and small town. Yes, one hundred percent. Very small. Very small. How like, small? Um, it's like one. Smaller than Saipan. No, bigger. Oh, I mean, okay. I mean. Uh, uh, Saipan has about. I think 70,000 people, I think. So, Something yes, like uh, yeah. in our city, it's like 150,000 people. Oh, that's like, I, I live in Guam, and that's a, roughly the size of Guam, and Guam's a beautiful place, too. I hope Molly can, can visit us there, yeah, and we're, sure. gonna, we're gonna shoot there, too. Yes. Um, so, so, you were saying you would live, so yes. you, you got to live in the tropical island. Yes, first I moved to the big city, and it was, exciting life there. Which big city? Moscow, Russia, the capital of Russia. Are, are, are people friendly in Moscow? Um, they, no, they just um, selfish. They think about themselves more. You, you know, when I see the Russian tourists in, in Guam, I, I don't see the, the men, they're not really smiling. Why, you, know. you, you seem happy and look, she's smiling. <laughs> See? Me, but, uh, it's not, I'm not a typical Russian. So is it true? Because I'm that, smiling. Is, is a it lot. true that Russian people, they're not really smiling? Yeah, or, that's uh, true. Why is that? This is cultural thing, I think. It's um, about um, Russian soul. We are so closed in public. You don't have to show your emotions. People, uh, like, family taught little children not to show uh, all emotions in society. So, so that's. That's part of the culture. That's what's taught in the family. Yes, yes. Even you? But, yes, even for me. Okay. But, but I, I discover by myself that it's better when you smile. 
It's better. Um, it's better when she smiles. <laughs> definitely. It's better when you talk like with your open heart to people. They can feel it, and they open up to you. So if you open up first, they gonna open up for you. And it's like a magical trick that I'm using. And here on Saipan, or Magic in, trick. you say, you say it works better when when you smile when you open. Yes. It's it's very true. Now. You know, while I have Molly here, we, we have to leave very soon. We've, we've pushed our meeting back as far as we can, but I want to ask her about, she's not really, she says she's not dating anybody, but you know these girls you never really know. Um, what do you look for when, in, in a man? Oh, well, do, do you like men, number one? Do you like men? Do you, of course. Okay, oh, ooh, ooh, of, this, course. of course. Of course, only <laughs> men. All right, um, and what do you look for if, like if a man's approaching you and, and if you're gonna um, be with him, what are, what are you looking for? Um, first, he should be... Um, uh, he should have good manner. Oh. Be a gentleman. Okay. Uh, are, are, are Russian men gentlemen? Yes, most of them. Okay, yes, okay. For sure. Okay, okay. Like, uh, I don't like this all... Um, feminism and all of that because I, I, I think still a woman should be a woman and man should be man in the good sense of this like um, be a gentleman. woman should be a woman and a man should be a man I, I totally agree I yeah totally agree like with that. we don't have to switch the roles no no need still a woman has this energy and power to encourage uh, her man to reach the highest points in, in his life mm -hmm. so I think this is a uh, woman next to the man but not man next to the woman so first place in the relationship is for man for sure for me mm -hmm. but woman can encourage man to be better and better and keep this energy inside her like woman can get the whole energy from the space but man get the energy from the woman but but also don't you think that that women they, they need masculine energy too right yeah I mean they got to feel a man's energy as well it should be balanced for sure and that's why sometimes you feel close to some people because your energy is balanced like I'm more I don't know I don't know it's very hard to explain well I mean I kind of hijacked her on these these kind of personal questions um, because we're just sitting here I, we, we literally we were communicating I uh, she was referred to me by uh, thank you Antonio Cabrera uh, a photographer here in Saipan and he goes back and forth to Guam yes he, hi Antonio <laughs> and he recommended Molly and uh, it was just an out-of-the-park home run and we, we kind of had to rush the shoot. The, the, the weather was not great, but she got to play with these stingrays. Uh, she had a great suit from Chamry to Swimwear. If we could just see a little peek of it here. Well, she, you guys are going to see it you in the can video. You see yeah. how wet I am. Yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 um, we, we got a great shoot in. Uh, I'm sure some of the shots are going to be real cool. So for now, uh, I, I really want to thank you so much for thank meeting you. up. And uh, until next time, I'm going to say das Vidanya. Yeah. And um, in, in Saipan, you say Estagupa. So until next time, Estagupa. Estagupa.